Now, members of the four estates, welcome to these uh, press briefings. My name is Moses Mwenda, the uh, youth leader. We as youth leaders across the 47 would like to issue the following statement. We condemn the uh, current politicking in the country, especially the politicking that does not focus on the issue-based politics and matter of development. Our youth are the ones who bear the blunt during election period. Our youth shall never again be used to fan violence in the country. We need the youth to be involved in national building and realization of the Big Four agenda. And with that, we urge the President, uh, His Excellency, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, to summon people who are politicking in the country, and especially uh, the ones which are causing chaos uh, in Kibera. To Kianzia na Maina Kamanda. To Naomba His Excellency, the President, Utoe Maina Kamanda Koyo Cheo. Kwa sababu, we support the handshake. But ile handshake sisi tuna support kama vijana ni handshake ya uh, democracy. Ambapo, watu wakishindana wanasalimiana. Ule anashindo anasalimia yule amemshinda. Lakini tunaona Maina Kamanda nasema, Deputy President William Ruto, ni ye ameforce Mariga uh, kusi, uh, kusimama kibira. Na tunajua, since tukisikia Jubilee, we know Jubilee is our excellence, who is the party linda, Uhuru Kenyatta, and his deputy, William Ruto. Lakini hao watu ambao wamesimamiwa na matumbo yao, wamekuja kibira kupiganisha vijana. Na sisi tunajua, kamanda alipewa hiyo kiti, hiyo kiti likuwa inafaa kuwa ya vijana, wa mama, ama watu ambao wanaishi, wanakaa na disabilities. Na sisi tumekuja kuona, maina kamanda ni kama hako na disabilities ya akili. Kwa hivyo sisi, tunaomba kama vijana. Ya tolewa kwa hiyo kiti, uh, tunaomba pati, imtuwe kwa hiyo kiti, ipia kijana ambaye atafanya kazi. Kwa sababu mtu wako na akili mbaya, anafaa peleko ataftuwe kiti kwa county, lakini si national. Number two, tunaomba shebesh, ambaye ni mtu ambaye tulikuwa tuna respect. Tumeona yeye ni mtu ambaye wa siyasa. Na iyo kazi yanafanya ya kuita vijana usiku. Kama ni development, ita vijana asubui. Wacha kuita vijana usiku, ukiwaambia kuna mambo unataka kuwafanyia. Ita vijana mchana, kama ni pump za kuosha magari, wapatia mchana. Kama ni mblenda za kumblendi juisi, wapatia mchana. Lakini tunataka tuambia shebesh, a respect umri yake, awache kuita vijana wetu usiku. Na akitaka aende all the 47 counties, afanyie vijana development. Sisi kama vijana, tumekataa ile mambo ya kusema tibim na tialala, kupigia watu makofi, tunataka development. Na niko na viongozi yapa, ambao wataongea kidogo. Karibu. Asante. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Honorable Masaki Samuel. I'm the Secretary General of Jubilee Youth League. I'm also the former aspirant, immediate former aspirant in Bakasi South 2019 by election. Uh, today we are gathered here as uh, national youth leaders across board from all political parties. And uh, we are here to uh, put things straight because we have seen we have had uh, issues uh, recently. Uh, we have had politicking and bio does not focus on the development and issue based. We are asking those leaders who are keep on uh, making these parties to the franchise because we have, we have, we have been focusing on development. And I want to speak on behalf of the youth leaders that the issue that Maina Kamanda and Shebesh are trying to raise in the country is going to cause a lot of chaos. So we are asking them to turn down. They were elected and they were nominated by the Jubilee Party. The president himself endorsed the Jubilee candidate for Kibra, showing that we have democracy in the country. And anyone who supports democracy supports the development of the country because if we don't have democracy then that means the country cannot grow so uh, we are calling upon uh, the leaders minor commander if minor commander is not going to go by the party it should be recalled by the party so that we can give a youth who is focused 
who can support the president's agenda and the deputy president so that we can move forward. Because we even don't know which criteria he was used even to nominate him. Because he's not a youth, he's not a woman, and he's not disabled. Not unless if maybe uh, the old age is, 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 a, is a form of disability. But we are asking that the president to summon these leaders. Uh, number two, Rachel Shabesh, who is the CS in the Ministry of Youth, should focus on how he's going to help our young girls, especially in the distribution of sanitary towels. We have had recently uh, uh, a young girl who committed suicide because of sanitary towel. We want her to focus on that. We want this administration of justice to be very fair. That's what I want to insist. Administration of justice has to be very fair. When Rashid Echesa was poli politicking, he was summoned and he was fired from a, a, a public position, from a civil servant. So we are asking if Rachel Shabesh is not going to go by the codes of the party and the constitution, he should leave the, uh, the, the poli uh, public servant office and go and politic. Because we don't want to see a scenario of which we, are, we have had recently, whereby young people are being called in people's homes at night and we don't know the agenda. We are asking this in polite. We are a group of young people who are focused. We understand what you are talking about and we are speaking on behalf of other young people. Kwa Kiswahili ningependa kusema, wale viongozi ambao wanaendelea kupiga siasa, ambayo haina mwelekeo, ambayo haisaidi wananchi, ambayo haiongelei maendeleo, tunawaomba kama hawatafuata mkataba wa chama zetu tunaomba uh, uh, wale wakuu wa chama wetu ambayo ni uh, rais wetu na naibu wa rais waweze kuwaita kuwaeleza jinsi kazi ambayo inafaa kufanywa kwa sababu tuna, tunapozingatia kuna ule kiongozi ambaye anaitwa Rashid Echesa ambaye alikuwa ali, ali, ali uh, zamani kidogo wakati alianza siasa alianza kuachishwa kazi tunaomba msumeno iwe kila mahali na sisi tuna support Kibra candidate wetu McDonald Marika mpaka mwisho ashinde asishinde hiyo ndio democracy ya nchi Asante Vijana power power vijana power power sisi kama vijana tumekusanyika hapa wa jubilee party Tunitaka kutoa msimamo wetu mtani rusu nyonge kwa lugha ya kiingereza. We as the Jubilee Party Youth League are here to condemn the recent, uh, the recent uh, behavior by Maina Kamanda and Rachel, Rachel Shebesh. We want to state categorically that uh, Rachel Shebesh was nominated to the CAS position courtesy of uh, being a member of Jubilee Party. As a member of Jubilee Party, she signed the documents binding her to follow the rules of the party. The rules of the party are very clear. The rules of the party are that you shall support the agenda of the party in any conversation that you'll be doing. Rachel Shebesh is going mad. She's running amok by going to Kibra and doing night campaigns supporting a party candidate who is not of the Jubilee party. An old senile man by the name Maina Kamanda who belongs, I don't want to say, because in the next two decades, I don't know if he'll be alive, he should be nursing his grandchildren at home, not coming to our party to insult the young people. We have qualified men and women here. Are you not qualified? We are qualified. Who are qualified to advocate for the agenda of Jubilee Party. But an old man like Maina Kamanda, who doesn't understand the difference of A to Z, who doesn't understand the left side of his pocket and the right side of his pocket, who purports to be a Jubilee Party member, and then he goes to raise the hand of a member of another party that is supporting him. We are asking the party leadership of our party, Jubilee Party. They should crack the whip. Minor commander should be called to the disciplinary, party, to the disciplinary committee of the party to show cause why he should not be recalled. Failure to which we are giving an ultimatum of 14 days. If Maina Kamanda is not going to be recalled by the party, we shall demonstrate until I take over that position of being a nominated member of parliament because I understand the challenges that are facing the young people of this country. Viva. Viva. Comrades, viva. Viva. viva! viva! Young people, viva. viva! Viva! When Maina Kamanda was in a position of authority, he disabused that position. As you can see in Pumwani Maternity Hospital, there is a field that is there. 
we will not fear, we will not allow, and we shall never allow Maina commander to disrespect our women. Matan Pumwani Maternity Hospital has been transformed by His Excellency Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko, who follows the Jubilee Party. How comes an old senile man who doesn't understand A to Z is going to grab that land in Pumwani? Will we allow? Yeah, and also, Maina commander has been known to grab properties in Stare constituency. When he was a member of parliament, he went there to serve his interest and his stomach. He never served the interest of the people. And he was given a favor of, nomin of being a representative of the disabled people in Bunge. We are asking him if he's not disabled, the party to recall him and so that he can relinquish that position. And to finish, we want to state categorically that we are not happy with the politicking that is happening in the country. There are issues that need to be articulated that our young people are facing. Recently, you have seen betting farms being shut, others being opened. We want to tell those people in government, let them not use their positions of authority to, to disenchantrise the young people. We really appreciate that President Uru Kenyatta is working hard to fulfill his legacy. We also want to state that we support the Deputy President in what he's doing so that he may help the people. Those others who are politicking, we shall deal with them ruthlessly and cacophoniously. Thank you. No questions. Now, to conclude this, eh, we are saying that our President and his Deputy President, for the last 10 years, these are people with the stand. So wakati president alivalisha Marika Kofia hiyo sisi kama jubilee tulijua baba yetu anataka tumsupport and sisi kama vijana tuna support nani Marika tuna support nani Marika tuna support nani Marika so we are telling the president to come out clearly aambie vijana wetu because we are in con we, we, we are confused by these two bureaucrats Maina Kamanda and Shevesh and the rest we want to tell our president, Uhur Moigai Kenyatta, and his deputy to come out clearly to tell us we need to support Mariga. Sawa sawa? Yes. Thank you. As we finish, my name is Godfrey Muhuri. I am the National Coordinator Jubilee Youth League, also aspirant uh, MCRY 2022. I want to say that the youth of this country are disenfranchised. We are you are disenfranchised because the politics that is being played in this country is not benefiting us in any way. As you can see, Maina Commander is coming. Maina Commander has been in the game for more than 40 years. He has been there. He is the one who is still running the shots. Maina Commander, when, when he went to support uh, Imran Okoth, he must have had a hand from, the Jubilee, from some of the Jubilee Party members who are, who are working from behind the Deputy President's back and who are trying to fight the Deputy President. And we want to say the role of the Deputy President is very clear. The Deputy president is supposed to deputize the president and to make sure that all his projects are running on the ground. That is the work of the deputy president. You cannot purport that, you cannot purport to say that the deputy president is being corrupt when he goes to church to contribute money because that is what he is supposed to do. That is part of development. So we want to say as we finish that Maina Commander should be, should be removed from the Jubilee Party. He, sh he should be recalled by the Jubilee Disciplinary Committee. And in the next seven days, Maina Commander is not supposed to be a nominated member of parliament. Thank you. Young people, viva! Viva! viva. Young people of Kenya, viva! Viva! viva. Jubilee Party, viva! Viva! viva. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Young people of Jubilee Party, viva! Viva! viva. Long live the spirit of Jubilee Party, youth league, long live! Long live! Long live. Long live the spirit of Jubilee, long live! Long live! Thank you. Thank you. Young people, viva! Viva! Young people of Kenya, viva! Viva! viva. Jubilee Party, viva! Viva! viva. viva. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Young people of Jubilee Party, viva! Viva! Long live the spirit of Jubilee Party, youth league, long live! Long live! Long live the spirit of Jubilee, long live! Long live! Thank you. Thank you.